One of the questions that people continue to ask me is, how do you know if you're getting a quality brand? In other words, how do you know if companies are putting in the correct amount of NMN that is stated on the labels? Well, there is some testing on NMN supplements, and that's what I want to show you here today. Let's begin by looking at the testing done by Consumer Lab. So the brand they like overall is made by Alive by Science, and they tested the 160 milligram version. And one of the reasons this was the top pick is that it's the least expensive brand of all the ones I'm about to share with you. Consumer Lab also passed Doublewood NMN, which contained 250 milligrams. And if you like nicotinamide mononucleotide in your coffee, you also have an option. iHealth NMN coffee is also passed by Consumer Lab. Each serving has 50 milligrams. They also passed the iHealth NMN gene balance supplement, where each capsule has 100 milligrams. iHealth also has a electrolyte light drink that passed as well. Each tablet of this supplement has 160 milligrams. And rounding out the bunch that passed is MAC-10, M-A-A-C-10 nicotinamide mononucleotide. It passed also. Each capsule has 125 milligrams. And I also want to point out that every nicotinamide mononucleotide supplement that was tested by Consumer Lab did pass. However, what if you're taking a supplement that's not on this list and you like it and you want to know how it might measure up? Fortunately, there's another test of NMN supplements. So now I want to present to you the supplements that were tested by Chromadex. And by the way, if you're not familiar with Chromadex, this is the company that makes nicotinamide riboside, which yes, is a direct competitor of NMN. Nonetheless, they tested several nicotinamide mononucleotide supplements and included the brands that did not pass their testing. They looked at 22 different nicotinamide mononucleotide supplements, and I'll give you their executive summary here, and then we'll go through the brands that passed their testing and didn't pass. So what they're saying here is 14% of the 22 products had NMN content that was at or above the label claim. 23% of these supplements contained dosages of NMN that were close, but a little less than was stated on their supplement facts label. 64% of these supplements contained dosages that were around 1% of the amount that was listed on the label, and 14% didn't have any NMN in them. So here's the list of the 22 NMN supplements that Chromadex tested. Let me just call out a few of the high points in this testing. We have Infinite Age NMN, where the supplement facts label said it had 250 milligrams. Chromadex testing found that it actually had 252 milligrams. Gero formulas, 125 milligram was listed on the label, and when Chromadex tested it, it had 120 milligrams. Next up is MAC-10 NMN 250 milligrams and Chromadex testing said it actually contained 260 milligrams. And rounding out the bunch here is Pro Health Longevity NMN 300 milligrams. Chromadex testing found it actually had 301 milligrams. BRL means below the reporting limit, means they probably had about 1% or less. ND means not detectable. They could not detect any NMN in the NMN supplement. However, we're not done yet. So now let me show you a table where you can see the brands of NMN that were approved by Consumer Lab side by side with the brands that were approved by Chromadex. So the bottom line here is you have to be an educated supplement taker and sticking with the brands of NMN that are highlighted by both Chromadex and Consumer Lab can help ensure that you're getting a supplement that contains what you see on the label.